Hello friends, I am Sham Tamankar. I welcome you on behalf of MSBT to their audiovisual program of learning MSBT Lead, Learning at Your Doorsteps. In this part, we are going to discuss about Course Outcome 2, Unit Outcome 1, Part B of the Subject Management Code 22509 which is for all the students of all the branches for 5th and 6th semester. So, you have already understood what is course outcome 2 that is planning and organizing at supervisory level. So, throughout this uh, course outcome, we will look into the duties, responsibility of the supervisors at shop floor as far as planning and organizing is concerned. In this part, we are going to look into the implementation of plans at shop floor with a focus on supervisor's role. In part A, we have discussed about the nature of planning, characteristics of planning, its importance, how the plans are made. Now in this part, we will see how the plans are to be executed. So what is the agenda? We will try to understand concept of soft and hard side of planning. You know software and hardware, same is the difference. I will try to explain levels of management with functions. We will discuss functions and duties of a supervisor, planning at supervisory level, contingency or situational planning and at the last we will see summary of part A and B. Now, we have seen how the plans are made, but only making the plans is not enough. To achieve your goals and objective, to achieve the results, you have to implement those plans. If you'll, they will remain on paper, nothing will be achieved. So what is the key takeaway of this part? That all goals and objectives will remain as Mungeri Lal ke Haseen Sapne in absence of the execution or implementation of plans. So if you don't execute them, if you don't execute the plan, whatever the plans they are, they may be very good, very meticulous, consciously made, but in absence of the execution, things will remain as it is and you will not be able to achieve your dreams. We have already seen that planning is a mental process and it is the duty of the top managers to generate long term plans or the strategic plans. They have to create the business policies to achieve the organizational goals. Now, middle level managers like the departmental heads or the functional heads in consultation with top managers, they create the actions plan or the functional plans for their departments or for the respective functions they are looking for. Again, they are first put on the paper. So both these steps, making the long-term plans and making the functional plans, it is called as the soft side of planning. That means we only decide what is to be done and how is to be done. But unless these action plans are implemented and executed, as I already said in the last slide, that you have to execute the plans. You have to execute the plans physically. You have to roll out them. Somebody has to roll out these plans with the help of the resources. Unless otherwise the resources are provided, the plans cannot be implemented. The resources are the human resources or all the physical resources like land and building, plant and machinery, raw materials, power, so on and so forth. And that too, the plans are to be implemented in a time bound manner. If you don't do all these things, then raw results will be achieved. So this is hard or physical side of planning. Operational plans are made on the basis of the functional plan. So how the operational plans at the sectional level or at the supervisory level are made, they are derived from the functional plans and they are executed by middle level managers 
with the help of the lower level managers that is the section heads or the supervisors. It is like running a relay race. The baton is passed on from the top level of managers to the middle level, from middle level to the lower level. And you have to create a chain of activity for achieving the desired goals and objectives. So try to understand that lower level managers or the supervisors are there in all types of industries. The industry may be engineering, may be electrical, chemical, construction, textile and so on. Now their action, the supervisor who are working at shop floor, who are working at site, they are the subject matter of the discussion of this part. Now they are responsible for getting work done from the workers as per the instructions they receive from their middle level managers and the guidelines they receive from the top level managers. So they have to follow certain steps. They have to follow certain standard procedures to carry on the activity or the operations of their department or their site. Now the steps will be same. Only the details will vary from industry to industry. So steps will be all, more or less same for all the industry. Only the details will vary. We will try to understand it with the help of an example. So for example, understand that there is an arrangement of the raw material. So in mechanical engineering workshop, the supervisor has to arrange for steel to process on machines or components and hardware for assembly. But in construction industry, he has to arrange for construction steel, cement, bricks and so on. Now you have understood what is the difference? The step is same, only the details are different. However, for the sake of our discussion, we will limit ourselves to engineering industry or a workshop. Now, from the picture, you can find the pyramid top level are at the top, middle level managers are in the middle and at the bottom of the pyramid, there is lower level of management that is the section head or supervisor under them there are workers. So who are the top level managers, board of directors or managing director or chief executive or general managers belong to the top level and they define the objectives of the organization. They formulate the strategic plans, the long term plans and the business policies. Middle level managers are, as we said already, the departmental heads or the functional managers and they identify the departmental objective in line with the organizational objectives and they get guidelines from the top management and give guidelines to the lower level towards the achievement of these objectives. They are responsible for creating the functional plans or the tactical plans or you can say the medium term plans. Lower level managers that is section heads or supervisors or the foremen they carry out the operational plans which are derived from the functional plans in consultation with the middle level managers. So they are concerned with the operational planning or the short term planning. Now what are the functions and duties of the supervisor at shop floor? He is supposed to assign jobs and tasks to various workers. So whosoever the workers are working under him, say 10, 15, 20 workers, he has to assign jobs and tasks to each and every individual worker for that particular shift. He has to guide and instruct workers for day-to-day -day activities. So day-to-day -day activities are carried on and he has to pass on the instructions that for throughout that particular shift what the worker is supposed to do. And if some difficulty is there in carrying out the work, he is supposed to guide that particular worker. He is responsible for the quality and quantity of the production of his section. So he has to monitor the quantity whether he is fulfilling the targets of the day and whether he is getting the quality product. So monitoring is to be done for quality and quantity both. He has to maintain the safe working condition that means 
he should see that no accident happen in his department no uncovered incident happen is in his department he has to see that there are no unsafe conditions and there are no unsafe acts committed by the workers working under him he has to act as a link between top management and workers as far as the communication is concerned so he is a conduit between top management and the workers for the top to bottom and bottom to top communication he has to solve the grievances there may be certain grievances of a worker he may have certain complaint about his coworker he must have certain complaint about the facility or his tools so he has to solve his grievances he has to solve the problems of the workers pertaining to the work he has to provide the necessary on the job training to the workers and motivate them to get the quantity and the quality as desired he has to arrange for the necessary raw materials for he has to do the material budgeting he has to do the manpower budgeting he has to arrange for the machine plan for the machines he has to arrange for the tools he has to maintain the tools for his section and the department he has to prepare the periodical reports about the performance of the workers and their section so he may prepare a daily report weekly report monthly report it will be about the production or the quality of his section or department or it may be about the performance of the workers working under him he has to ensure that discipline is maintained in his section and by doing that he has to ensure that the discipline is maintained in entire organization or the enterprise so these are the duties and functions of the supervisor at the shop floor level he is supposed to do all these things he has to supervise all these things now what planning is supposed to do supervisors can make short term plan which can involve scheduling daily activities so he has to schedule daily activity and for that he has to prepare the short term plan for that day he has to plan the machines he has to plan raw material he has to plan manpower and he has to plan for completing the production targets of his section so he is a person who is in charge of his section and so he is supposed to coordinate the activities of a group of workers engaged in the related activity of his section so he not only lead them he not only take charge of the section but he coordinates the activities of the different workers who are working in his department so the targets are complete he is like a front line manager supervisors are also managers maybe of the lower level why they are called as front line managers because they actually interact with the workers so they are responsible for getting the work done from workers with respect to the plans and policies sent by the management so supervisor as a leader he has to plan he has to direct the workers he has to motivate them and he has to monitor the work performed by workers at the operational level of the organization so he is responsible for the operational level that is the sectional level so he has to plan for it direct the workers of his section motivate them and monitor the entire activity he has to take care of the workflow means whatever the workflow is there throughout the section the flow of the material the flow of the product the flow of the uh, information or the human resource so he has to see that the speed of the workflow is maintained throughout the day he has to plan or budget for manpower for the raw materials or for the overhead or the small expenses which are made at the sectional level now he is supposed to do the contingency planning or the situation planning also what we mean by situational planning or contingency planning means if the the contingency change or the situation change for that particular day or for that particular ship so he has to identify alternative courses of action that can be implemented if the original plan is not adequate due to changing circumstances 
So you are aware that every day the circumstances keep on changing. The external environment keep on changing. The things keep on changing. Just for the example, if a section B is receiving material for further processing for section A and because of certain problem in section A, section B is not able to receive the material which is supposed to be processed for that day or for that shift. What the supervisor is supposed to do? He must have another plan ready with M. Means if the plan X is not working, he must be ready with plan Y in his pocket. He immediately must start the plan Y. Means he must start processing some other material or some other component so that the machines or the workers will not remain idle. Success of any work always depends upon a degree of adaptation, its flexibility and efficient handling of changing conditions. So, supervisor is supposed to be having the adaptation skills. He must be flexible. He must be efficient to face the changing condition. He must have the that you know mindset that if some change is to be carried out immediately you must think about it and plan accordingly and execute it so in case of any deviation in implementing any plan the supervisor needs a keeping all option open so he must be open to all different options and all different approaches at all the times so that the workflow is maintained, the efficiency and effectiveness of the operations at the section level are maintained. So what is the summary of section A and B? Now we have seen in section B the actual execution of the plan, how supervisor is responsible for the execution of the plans at the operational level. In part A we have seen actually what is planning and what is the importance and what are the characteristics of plan and how the managers develop the plans. So what is the summary? Planning is important and foremost function of the management. The industry may be engineering, electrical, construction, chemical, textile or any other. The principles and premises of planning remain same. The only difference is in detailing of development and deployment of the resources. We have seen it with the help of the example. Plans are not permanent. You know, we have seen how the contingency planning is done, how the situation planning is done. So plans are not permanent, but they keep on evolving according to the changing situation and contingencies. There are three major types of plan, which are strategic, tactical and operational. Strategic plans are made by the top level management, they are the long term plans. Tactical plans are at the functional level, they are made by the middle level management and operational plans are made and executed by the supervisor. Supervisors are mostly confined to actual implementation at production floor or at site level or one can say at the operational level. So he is confined to implementation. He is not much much involved in the planning but he is actually much involved in the implementation at the operational level. Now you being diploma student, you join organizations at supervisory level and so it is important for you to understand how the planning is done at the shop floor level or at the supervisory level and how you are supposed to execute those plans to meet your targets. So thank you friends. Thank you for hearing patiently. Now we will meet in the next part that is the course outcome 2, unit outcome 2 shortly. Thank you. Thank you very much.